on if somebody came to you and said, yes, but is it true? Whether they were talking about Genesis 1 or whether they were talking about your particular research in science, what would you say to them? Well, I say, yeah, uh, yeah, true, but we have to understand what we mean by true. Um, so um, let's take, you know, Genesis 1 and the hydrogen atom as examples of how this, how you have to go beyond what you mean by true. Is Genesis 1 true? Well, yes, it is. Um, it's true on its inspired, God-breathed terms of speaking originally into an ancient Near Eastern culture who were not you know, mesmerised by the material as we are. Um, Genesis 1 speaks to a, a ancient Middle Eastern culture whose creation stories were creation of function and form and purpose. So that is what it is talking about. You might have noticed that Genesis doesn't start with nothing. It starts with staff um, and God forms it and breathes it. And it, it's, a, it, no, it's a temple seven day celebration of, of God taking residence in God's temple of creation. It's a liturgical document. Um, and then I might point to that people. So of course it's true on those terms. It's not true as a scientific material account. Of course it isn't. Uh, it's not written to a culture who even could notice one of those if it was served to it on a golden platter. Um, don't disrespect this inspired Bible by demanding that, twisting it into your shape. 